So, uh, you know, I could talk, but what we're going to hear right now could capture the scene a lot better as we get ready with the brass. Get ready with Rex here at Spanish Plaza, just waiting for him to walk on down right on time here. We are told the King of Rex or the King of Carnival here will be delivering about two minutes of comment here talking about how important it is to be back here at Spanish Plaza, back here celebrating Lundi Gras and by virtue Mardi Gras tomorrow. Of course, a very festive occasion here. The King, a military veteran of sorts, having served in the Marines as a captain. We're going to hear from him, his thoughts, obviously what it means to be back, but the ceremony, the circumstance, the costumes all in tow here. This Coast Guard ship right at the corner here of Spanish Plaza. And with all of that, here we have the band Cowboy Mouth on stage shortly ago, and they just finished their performance as we all get ready for the King to present and share his comments and officially mark the start of Lundi Gras and Mardi Gras. Here we go. so much for being here. Uh, it is a true honor and a distinct honor to serve as Rex 2022 King of Carnival. Nothing has given me more pleasure than to look around His Majesty's Winter Capital and see the streets filled with revelers, both locals and tourists alike. It is really amazing to see people back out and celebrating Carnival. I hope that everybody has a safe and wonderful Mardi Gras day. I cannot wait to ride on the streets of New Orleans tomorrow. Thank you for being here. Happy Mardi Gras. How special is this year? This is an amazing year. It's Rex's 150th anniversary, our sesquicentennial celebration, and we are thrilled to be back on the streets of New Orleans after a one-year hiatus. Does this beat flying a helicopter in Afghanistan? <laughs> uh, that's, it's, a, it's a close call, but uh, I really enjoyed my time in the military. I served 10 years on active duty in the Marine Corps. I see a lot of my fellow Marines here today. Uh, I'm really appreciative of them coming out. I loved every minute of my time in the Marine Corps. I certainly loved flying helicopters. It was a great job to be assigned to, uh, but it might be hard beating being Rex in 2022 and our 150th anniversary. So I'm, I'll, I'll tell you after tomorrow. What do you want to say to your subjects, Rex? Well, I want everybody to be safe. We've had a rough year with COVID, the pandemic. There's been a lot of stress and strife on our populace and all of our fellow citizens around the region. And I hope that this Mardi Gras brings us all back together and allows us to celebrate and remember what makes New Orleans great, that we all have a wonderful time celebrating our love of life. In French, they would say our joie de vie. And uh, I hope that everybody has an amazing time tomorrow and, and joins with me in celebrating a wonderful, res wonderful resurgence of our amazing city. How was your voyage? Our voyage was great. The, the thank you to the Coast Guard for uh, providing us transportation. As tradition dictates, the U.S. Coast Guard has been our primary means of transportation to have a Rex arrive at the river, Riverwalk, and uh, we were really excited to return to that tradition this year. I was going to ask you what it means to you to revive this tradition. Well, it really it, it means a lot. You know, New Orleans is a coastal city. New Orleans is a naval city. We're a military city. And to have the U.S. Coast Guard and all of our military digni dignitaries join us on a Coast Guard cutter and have Rex, his lieutenants, Rex's captain, uh, arrive with all of our friends and family is really something special. So to the Coast Guard and to all our members of the military, I hope you are sharing in this wonderful celebration as much as I am. Uh, thank you and happy Mardi Gras. Happy Mardi Gras. 
And there we have it, Rex the King of Carnival himself, bringing in Mardi Gras for another year. Guys, back to you. Okay, seriously, that's one of my favorite parts of Lundy Girl when the Zulu King and Queen arrive because the second line is always <laughs> off the hook. Before the King of Carnival got there, uh, King of Zulu arrived at the Coast Guard Cutter in Waldenburg Park. Uh, Zulu this year is Randolph Rudy Davis and the Queen is Crystal Guillemet. Um, the theme of this year's parade is Zulu salutes divas and legends. And the parade will roll tomorrow morning, starting bright and early, of course, at 8 a.m.